We're using what's called life force energy. What is that energetic of that which is alive and the energetic of that which is not alive? Well, the Chinese have called the energy qi and the Japanese have called it qi and the yogis have called it prana and the Hawaiians have called it mana. It does exist, it's a very real force. It's the energy of life, the energy that carries us through, that has biological systems working, but it is also the energy that is amplified and magnified by our love. Crickets will crick together, fireflies will flash together. It works up from the subatomic through the atomic, the molecular levels, the cells, the tissues, organs, the ligaments, tendons, muscles. There's a fascinating thing that happens in science. They'll often talk about the magic of touch, the value of touch, the healing power of touch, it's an exchange of that life force energy, that prana, that chi. Time, space, and matter. The body is made up of atoms, these atoms are particles that are whirling at lightning speeds and the particles aren't material objects. They are fluctuations of energy and information in a huge void of energy and information. The matter is just an illusion, an artifact of our perceptual experiences. As you sift through this very solid looking material body, you only have to go so far before you end up with a handful of nothing. This is a scientific fact. The basic raw material of the universe is that it's not material. The essential stuff of the universe is non-stuff. Because an atom, which is the basic unit of matter, is not really a solid entity. It's a void. But is this void an emptiness? Or could it be the womb of creation itself? Could it be the source of life itself? Is this non-stuff, non-matter that makes up the entire universe just emptiness? Or is it thinking non-stuff, thinking non-matter and creates everything in existence from matter to energy to time to space? Everything in the universe has an energy. This isn't just um, scientific talk. We're now beginning to discover every thought has an energy. And that thoughts go from very, very low and slow energy to very high and very fast energy. Society cannot possibly be changed except when only when the individual, the human being, really transforms himself radically, regenerates himself fundamentally. And the responsibility of that depends on the, on the human being not on the mass or on the priest or on a church or a temple or mosque or whatever, but on a human being who is aware of this enormous confusion politically, religiously, economically, in every direction. Most people are not concerned with the world at all. Most people are not concerned seriously with the events, with the chaos, with the mess in the world at present. They're only concerned very superficially. This energy that we're generating that can now be photographed and can certainly be felt, this energy um, is the energy that creates our reality because it attracts to us a reflection of itself and what that energy reflects is our inner self, our emotional, spiritual and mental state. When we feel fear, we attract to us fear. We attract to us what we most fear. And there's nothing more debilitating, more controlling and limiting than the victim mentality. We're encouraged by this manipulation throughout our lives to see ourselves as victims, to blame someone else. We are so in control of our destiny, it's unbelievable. And yet billions are persuaded they're not, 
and therefore they create a very different reality. So if we're in fear, we can attract a reflection of fear. But when we emit love, we create a very different energy, therefore we create a very different reality. It's just a choice. Everything is just a choice. these things that are happening are happening on an energetic level. It really is all about energy. You're simply just one frequency of a single consciousness experiencing reality as the person you are at this particular time. That's all you are. When you understand the whole energetic basis of reality, a whole new way of dealing with things becomes available to you. I can just focus on the true nature of reality, the true nature of energy. Your heart, apart from being the pump that pumps your blood around your body, it also generates an electromagnetic field that influences the reality around you. And it also reads signals from the surrounding field. And the main signals that your heart sends out to the outer world are emotional signals. The electromagnetic field that's produced by your heart is actually affected by emotion. And this affects the energy field around you. Your eyes are the eyes of the universe. And when you look at an object, it's the universe looking at itself through those eyes.